this is the Sky City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire, Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today. And this is an update from London. In this next story from Hounslow, it's about a man that was stabbed to death and dismembered in his own flat. He was stabbed 11 times and two men have been convicted of his murder today. Zimeli Duby and Simon Emmons, three members of what the court said was a violent gang, broke into his flat in 2019. They stabbed the 35-year-old victim, Abrima Cham, who was found dead on his kitchen floor in Grove Road, Hounslow. On December the 19th, 2019, Simon Emmons, 40 years old, and Simeli Duby, 33, and a 19-year-old who could not be named for legal reasons, was found guilty of his murder following an 11-week trial at the Old Bailey. The 19-year-old was acquitted of murdering Barnes musician William Alger, 53, who was found stabbed and dismembered in his flat on January the 3rd, 2020. So that was a completely separate murder and jurors have been told that the defendants were involved in both incidents. The court heard that Abrima, who lived at various addresses across Hounslow, had built up a reputation for robbing other drug dealers. It is understood that one of these robberies led him to a confrontation with Dubey, and after finding out Abrima was staying at a flat in, in Grove Road, the three men got in contact with each other by phone, and they all set off to the address in a car being driven by a friend. At around 11.15am, Dubey Amons and the 19-year-old knocked on the door of the flat, but no one answered. As a result, they broke down the door and rushed inside. Abrimu was found dead by emergency services after he'd been repeatedly stabbed and beaten and the suspects made away from the scene. The post-mortem examination determined how they killed Abrimu and he was stabbed 11 times to the head and a deep wound to his chest proved to be fatal. Detectives investigating the murder located CCTV of a car containing all three of the suspects and as a result the police were able to track them down and arrest them very soon. In relation to William Algar, he was a talented jazz musician and he was killed in his own flat following a row over the supply of drugs. He was reported missing by his mother after going days without contact and officers investigating his disappearance attended the ground floor flat and discovered an open window. The officers climbed inside to find his decomposing body and his torso was wrapped in bed sheets. Sniffer dogs would find that his arms and legs were buried in Hounslow Heath area days later and the QC in the case said that Algar had mental health issues and he'd used class A drugs for a number of years. He began selling cocaine and heroin and was stabbed to death following a dispute with the 19 year old that was acquitted of his murder afterwards. Two other men, Jayano Lucima and Mark Hardin, were convicted of perverting the course of justice. And drug dealers Simon Emmons and Zimeli Duby were convicted of his murder. They were convicted by jury by a majority of 10 to 2. So they killed two people and dismembered their bodies violently. William Algar was stabbed to death with a Rambo knife and they chopped his torso up in his own home. So to think of the disrespect that can come and the levels some people will go to in relation to drugs and drug debts is actually shocking. So my condolences to the families of both of them men and thank you for joining me for this update. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.